Good morning. Oh, I forgot that this battery is dying. <laughs> I quickly change the battery and grab some coffee and then I will be back with you guys. I'm back with coffee. <laughs> did I did I just hum a wedding thing? Why? <laughs> <laughs> well, that is a twist. Maybe there is someone who is getting married. Maybe you are meeting the person that you're getting married to. Well, that was interesting, wasn't it? Mm. So, when I tapped into the energy, there is this energy of like swaying back and forth but in a positive way, like not making, well, how did it come through? Well, how can I say it? Staying in the middle in a way, swaying back and forth, but staying in the middle. Not wanting conflicts. So it's not about making a decision, but it's maybe just about being and Letting things happen in a way. I think that is what's coming out. No matter what's happening, you're just like swaying back and forth. And you're like, I'm at peace. And everything is coming to me. It's that kind of a day. But definitely realizing that you do not want conflicts in your life. Conflict in your life. There's like a point where you feel at peace, a point where there is a calmness that you attract, that you want to attract. And it's definitely connected with the full moon in Sagittarius. It's actually interesting with the card that we got that I posted, posted a picture and a message with it because it was Taurus new moon and that is the last thing that we had. So something that you sowed, worked on is now coming to life. Hmm. Like you're not sad or afraid of anything. This is like, I am at peace, no matter what. I don't want to run after things, I just want to see what's happening. With that, we are using the Angels and the Ancestors Oracle cards. I mean, am I the only one? I mean, it. you know, to be fair, we are out of Mercury Retrograde's shadow um, period, so now things are just flowing, like things can happen now. You feel this energy, so maybe that is what we feel. Maybe that is what spirit is trying to make us aware of. There might be something with wanting to be more out there, if you're being invited to an event. Maybe something with music or art. Say yes. Don't be afraid. So it's just about swaying on the opportunity maybe also. Not making a decision, but letting the decision or the opportunity arrive by itself. With that being said. I also heard so you guys are working on your channeling skills. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Trader. Ooh. Exchange energy to create abundance. Let's take the book. <sighs> Get out of the wind, I heard. Get out of the wind, what does that mean? Make connections and exchange information, talents and support. 
Hmm. And something happening today where you can exchange information, exchange your talents and your support. Like someone is supporting you and you're supporting them and it's a very beautiful energy. So you create some kind of beautiful abundance today with that energy exchange. Wow. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> what is this? The trader brings the lesson and energy of exchange today. Yeah, something is happening where you might in the past stress about it. It could be someone reaching out with information or support or some kind of thing that involves art or your talent and you're not afraid you're just swaying in it you're like this feels good i'm gonna connect with this there could be some kind of information today or exchange in a way i give you this and you give me that <laughs> what that is wow hmm it might not be physical exchanging gifts or something but it's like an energy i'm actually going to the reading today with this psychic I'm gonna be on the other side of the, <laughs> the table. <laughs> so that's also a change of energy, right? Wow. I got told to have a charged up phone so I can record the, uh, the voice record the session. So I'm very excited. I'm gonna share with you whatever I can share with you. Let's see what else comes your way here today. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Be very patient today. We do have the three of, of um, pentacles. So when it comes to your career or something with your talent, something you're working on, there's something you can show off. Again, it could be information, it can be whatever. And it actually does fit perfectly into this. But be patient with yourself because it might not be as fast as you want but i also feel that it's also for you to actually see that all the things that you have put out maybe around the new moon in taurus is coming back to you now it is coming back it's not the fastest energy maybe it is for some of you guys maybe that's why you like swaying back and forth because you're not used to that oh that's a big ass awakening. Eight four eight with that. They um there's something around today where destiny is calling you. Something that's very fated. A, a lot of things are being connected. I had a tingling up my leg. Wow. Are you falling in love with something? Is someone falling in love with you or with what you do? But there is a very comfortable energy here that has a bigger purpose in your future. And if you think about the messages we have gotten the past weeks, there's something coming up from the ground. <laughs> something very beautiful that will blow our itsy bitsy tiny minds. Because we have not expanded our minds enough and something happens today where you will get a mind expansion. And a trade. <laughs> Give me more information about why the, re the Knight of Pentacles is reversed. Are you holding on to something? <laughs> Maybe you're holding back. Ha. Huh. That could actually be what's happening here. You are maybe holding back, afraid of what the reaction will be if you allow someone. Wow. Okay. To see what you wanna. Wow. Okay. I just got. I. I thought. Well. <laughs> there was a card and it disappeared. And what was that? Because I was like, "Ooh, that makes sense." Now it's just gone. But I did see. <laughs> Flipping through the cards now, very um, <laughs> dramatically. Okay, I did see all the knights. That meaning, I saw <laughs> the knight of cups, and now we have the knight of swords. 
And we have the star. We also have the nine of pentacles. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is happening? And the page of cups, I believe. Yeah. There might be someone who comes in today, female or male, who exchange an energy that that really like connects with you. But with that, there might be this energy of like, oh, <laughs> can I show? Do I dare? Is it good enough? Am I good enough? You should go for it because, wow. If it's in a work or if it's in love or whatever it is, it's like destiny tickling you. <laughs> Um, and I said that while I pointed at this, so exchange, and energy exchange is happening and it creates abundance. So do not be afraid of actually sharing today and the next days. There could be something with, obviously, you know, with a person, like I said, and I don't want to mention any zodiac signs because I just heard loud and clear, not to. If it's someone who is interested in you romantically, do not be afraid. Buggle up, I heard. <laughs> Buggle up. If it's someone who wants to work with you, give you a business opportunity, do not say no. Just because you might not feel ready or you are not sure if you're good enough. Because you are. Opportunities come your way for a reason. It's time, it's time. With that, I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.